The new interactive storyboard features give you another way to speed your edit process up even more by making it possible to create rough cuts and alternate sequences faster than ever before. The first thing to know about storyboards is that you don't have to use them if you don't want to. If you've used previous versions of Vegas Movie Studio, you can use the exact same workflow in version 16. However, storyboarding can bring a new aspect to your workflow. First, what is a storyboard? In a very general sense, it's a place where you can quickly experiment with the sequence of your video clips. You can create a rough cut of your video in the storyboard and then move to your timeline for the fine editing. The main timeline storyboard interacts with the main timeline itself, so the edits that you make in one are reflected in the other. In addition, you can view both the storyboard and timeline at the same time if you choose to. This makes for a very fast and powerful workflow. To see this, add three video clips to your timeline. Now, click the Project Media tab to bring the Project Media window to the front of the window docking area if it's not already visible. In the basic version of Vegas Movie Studio, you see the storyboard immediately at this point. Here, in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, the storyboard appears as a new Project Media bin type. Click the Expand button for the storyboard bins. Click the Main Storyboard bin. Notice that the storyboard contains no files at the moment, but also notice the red shading. This indicates the storyboard does not currently sync up with the main project timeline. Click the Refresh Storyboard button to synchronize them now. You can work with this manual sync method if you like, but you can also set the storyboard to automatically synchronize with the timeline anytime you make an edit. To do that, click the Refresh Storyboard drop-down arrow and select Automatically Synchronize Main Timeline Storyboard from the menu. Now anytime you add files or make edits in the timeline, the storyboard will update to reflect those changes. For instance, delete each of the events from the timeline. Notice that the storyboard thumbnails disappear as well, and you are left both with an empty timeline and an empty storyboard. In the Project Media window, click the All Media bin. As usual, the clips remain in your project even though you've removed them from your timeline. Click the New button to start a new project. There's no need to save your changes. As you did just a few moments ago, you can add clips to your timeline as has always been possible, and this also populates the main timeline storyboard. But it works the other way too. You can populate the storyboard, and the timeline reacts to the changes you make. To see this, undock the Explorer window and leave it as a floating window. The basic version of Vegas Movie Studio does not contain an Explorer window. In the Project Media window, navigate to the main timeline storyboard, which is currently empty. Drag three video files from the Explorer window into the storyboard's first three cells. Notice that this also adds the three clips to your timeline, so this is a new way to start creating your project. Along with storyboards, we've made it possible to mark in and out points in your media. Point your mouse to any thumbnail in the Project Media window. As you move the mouse within the thumbnail, you can see the video scrubbing beneath the mouse. To get finer movement, hold the Control key and roll your mouse wheel away from you to enlarge the thumbnails. You can also specify the start and end point of each video in your storyboard. Notice the white vertical line at the beginning of each thumbnail. Drag that line toward the middle of the thumbnail. The frame you set this line to becomes the in point for that video. Set the thumbnail's out point in the same way. Notice that changing the in and out points in the storyboard has also trimmed the timeline clip events to reflect those in and out points. If you decide that you're not happy with the in and out points, you can change them either in the storyboard or on the timeline. In other words, you can always refine your edit. For instance, in the timeline, trim the edges of one of the events. As you do, notice the in and out points of the storyboard thumbnail for that clip also change. This happens automatically if you're still in auto refresh mode, but you can always update manually too when you see the red warning background. Now let's say you're not satisfied with the sequence of your video. You can easily change it in the storyboard. For instance, let's move the first thumbnail so that it is instead in the second position. To do this, drag the first thumbnail to the second position. When you do the first and second thumbnails swap position, and you'll notice that the first and second timeline events switch positions accordingly. When you release the mouse button, you have swapped the order of both the clips on the storyboard and the events in the timeline. Notice that the storyboard has no awareness of space between timeline events. This is expected and desired because it keeps the storyboard clean and makes it possible to very easily experiment with the sequence of your video. 
However, there will be times when you want to preserve space between two events on the timeline because you know that later you want to place a different file in that space. In those cases, you'll want to create a placeholder and that's easy to do. For instance, say you want to create a space between the first and second event on your timeline that you'll fill later with an establishing shot of your video location. To do this, select the second and third storyboard thumbnails. Remember, you can use the standard window selection modifiers Control and Shift to select multiple items. With both of these selected, move the third thumbnail to the fourth storyboard cell. The two thumbnails move to positions 3 and 4 and a new placeholder text event has been created to fill cell 2. In the timeline, a new text event has been added between events 1 and 3. Since this is a normal titles and text event, you can modify it to leave yourself helpful notes. Click the Text Events Generated Media button to open the Video Media Generators window with the text controls. Now you can see the attributes of the text just like you would with any other text event. You can create as many of these placeholders as you need. Yet another new Project Media Window feature enables you to preview multiple files sequentially so you can preview all of the files to see what the rough cut looks like. To preview your entire storyboard, select all of the thumbnails. In Vegas Movie Studio Basic version, the storyboard files begin to play immediately. In Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, click the Auto Preview button. The first clip begins to preview and when it's finished, the next clip previews immediately, and so on until you've seen them all. To preview just a portion of your storyboard, select just the thumbnails you want to include in the preview.